Hello there guys and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video we're going to be taking a look at Barian 4. I'm going to do my best to give you guys a fairly brief and quick guide about the best counters to some of the trickier bosses, easiest paths to take, maybe uh, highlight some of the problem areas you might encounter and what's the way to deal with them. Uh, but all in all I definitely must say that Barian 4 does not feel like it's a uh, very roster demanding uh, for most part you can get through with uh, many different champions and there are not really any specific champions required like it is in act six so quest number one is only three parts and it's also really kind of simple the easiest path probably would be the all or nothing transducer path because there aren't any two tricky kind of matchups and the only thing you need to do is bring in a power control champion and you're going to be set in addition to all of that that is also by far the shortest path and you will only have like four or five fights on the path itself before you reach the boss uh, so it's simple straightforward easy path to take and any power control champions will pretty much get the job done and then you are going to be free to bring in more counters for the electro boss and now electro boss is uh, somewhat annoying it's one of the probably trickier bosses in here and you do need some sort of specific counter to this guy uh, when it comes to countering electro he has that a uh, new node i believe it's called crackling energy uh, where basically you need to have an access to non-contact attacks and so far the best counters i have heard people talk about is havoc Domino, I just ended up quaking this guy. I imagine Iron Man Infinity War and Yondu should be fairly good options as well. Uh, now you do have to keep in mind that this guy will have increased power gain and also all of his special attacks will cost only 50% of what they should. And additionally to that, his ability accuracy cannot be reduced, therefore champions like Archangel won't really do all that well. Um, but yeah, once again, I ended up quaking the guy. I have seen Havoc do some incredible work here. Uh, same as Namor, Hyperion, uh, Domino, to name a few. There are definitely counters. Maybe you will not have a perfect counter to this guy. Uh, but uh, since the quest and the path it in itself is quite easy, you can just dedicate several champions and do damage and take him down. Uh, I don't know, half at a time. And now we're going to be moving on to the quest number two. And quest number two is four paths long. Uh, so they are going up a bit, but it's still fairly short. And if I would have to give the easiest path, then I would say it is this mighty charge one probably. Mainly because this is not really a mighty charge, it's kind of like a mighty charge light. They will shrug off debuffs and they will be a bit harder to parry, but they don't go unstoppable, so you're always free to intercept them. And the fights in itself there were quite easy, and there wasn't too much to them, and the opponents were not the hardest ones either. But the rest of the paths are perfectly doable as well. There aren't any kind of like overly complicated ones or too difficult. And now when it's going to come to dealing with the boss now, he has that new fundamentals node, which actually turns out can be cheesed. He, he also has mighty charge and limber and a bunch of other stuff on him. Uh, but the base idea is uh, you can completely cheese this guy if you lock him in a corner, spam your heavy attacks, and that's going to be fight over. I uploaded a brief kind of cheese video where I showcased uh, myself doing it with Massacre. I did it uh, live uh, with Namor, but for my initial completion, I just kind of quaked the guy. Another shout out definitely goes to Ghost, because Ghost works fantastic against this dude as well. And uh, if you know what you're doing, he's not a hard boss. If you get confused and if you kind of like try and play around everything that he has, he might get tricky, especially if he gets you tilted or frustrated. But all in all, if you have done some research, if you know what you're doing, uh, he will be an easy cupcake for you to deal with. And that is pretty much it for the first two quests where you can use six stars and five stars or five stars only in this current quest. Now we're gonna move on to the second chapter, quest number three and four, uh, for four stars and three stars only respectively. Uh, so let's take a look at the map layout. And as we can see, there are five paths. Uh, there will also be only five paths in the quest number four. And if I would have to name the easiest path, uh, that is also a fair bit shorter than the rest because there are only one, two, three, four, four fights on it. Uh, maybe five. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely a very simple and short path. And the node on it is basically just cornered and enhanced uh, level two. 
or power efficiency as well uh, so they're going to use less power uh, when they throw the special attacks and basically don't apply damage or time debuffs but the fights are easy there's nothing tricky on the path it's extremely short and simple to kind of like deal with and that would be my first choice definitely especially because it's shorter uh, than the paths on the sides Another uh, super easy path is this armor one on the left side, however there is a Nick Fury and a few more a slightly more difficult encounters and it is longer, it's like 6 fights uh, versus 4. When it comes to the boss, uh, basically he has vigorous assault, means he's unblockable when he's under region, and backward brawler and cornered, that's about it. Uh, very simple fight, it's just a Wolverine that uh, goes unblockable occasionally. So you don't have too much to worry about, a vast majority of champions in your roster can deal with it. And let's face it, it's just a Wolverine, it's hardly the more annoying defender to face off against in 2019. Uh, special attacks are basic and so everything so is everything else pretty much uh, now quest number four designed for three star champions have five paths once again and i suggest going straight down the middle because once again it's super short and a simple path there are not many fights there's morningstar omega red dark hawk and puncher 2099 uh, so uh, they are not the easiest fights but they aren't overly tricky either and it's definitely by far the shortest path and the nodes on there is cornered and enhanced special too so again don't use damage over time champions and you're gonna be perfectly fine there's like absolutely nothing to worry about and it's gonna be a super quick easy way to the boss and the boss this moon knight is actually one of the more annoying moon knights probably the harder of the three bosses that we have in the latest quests and it's basically because a he has clap back so he can't inflict damage over time things on him and he also has a really annoying node that will uh, make him await a lot where basically you cannot perform the same attack twice in a row it's kind of like that node that we had in elsa bloodstone uh, quest uh, in one of the uncollecteds but uh, so you have two options either you can try and play around this node by just relying on parry and heavy or parry medium heavy and things like that or you can bring in an await counter now he also has aggression fury and force of will so you do have to be fairly aggressive to make sure that those furies are taken down efficiently but at the same time that opens you for a nice cheese with electro or killmonger and heimdall if you choose to go that route so there are definitely options and this boss is far from being troublesome and that basically will leave us with the final chapter, chapter number 3. Chapter 3, you can only use 2 star champions for quest number uh, 5, and quest number 6 is 1 star champions only. Both of these quests have 6 paths, so as you can see, they have been very conservative when it comes to the number of paths, and you will not have to clear this quest a dozen of times just to clear the map and explore it fully. So that is definitely a kind of like encouraging sign as well, that they are learning their lesson from... 6.2 and variant one i suppose uh, but yeah so uh all of the paths apart from one are quite easy if i have to give the easiest one is definitely going to be the life transfer because uh, it lets you make 79 mistakes and so long as you do manage to land a combo before you are dead uh you can recover to full health this is extremely fun node extremely easy node and extremely helpful node and opponents on the, uh, this path aren't uh, tricky either so definitely life transfer is fantastic uh, first path to take uh, there's also a flare path which also would be super easy if you have somebody like rogue for instance but either way so uh once again uh it's a fairly simple quest not much to do there if there are if there is a hard path on this quest that's this dull then crit me with your best shot and basically the only way you can deal with this is take champions that do not have buffs or debuffs and just grind it out it's going to be annoying it's going to be by far the slowest path in this quest because you're not going to be dealing damage for a good amount of time and yeah it's just frustrating but it's not tricky it's just long and frustrating now when it comes to the boss it's basically a watered down version of the previous boss it's just a moon knight and there's nothing tricky to him there are no special nodes nothing new nothing kind of special that you should concern yourself about and that leaves us with the final and unfortunately the most boring quest as well because you can only use your one star champions and it's not difficult it's not hard at all actually the nodes are kind of designed to help you in each kind of section pretty much there is a way for you to deal more damage 
all except for one there is one path that is uh, annoying is silly will frustrate you and it's caustic temper and if you're going to take a look at your one stars or anybody's one stars that are available there's only one champion in the game that is one star hulk that can deal with that path uh, relatively decently otherwise those fights will last about 100 hits when it comes to the easiest path, it has to be this dash vulnerability breakthrough. It's quite short, you do more damage. Breakthrough means that eventually any champion can hit like a tank. Dash vulnerability basically means you will have 200% damage increase on pretty much anything you do or close to it. And yeah, it's simple. Uh, rest of the path also have stuff like bleed vulnerability and things like that, and it's nothing tricky there the final boss has one of these new nodes echo barrier but it's not too hard to deal with uh, you do want to have black panther or wolverine with you because those guys do inflict a fair amount of bleeds and that will help you kind of like have a bigger uptime on the phase where you can actually do damage other than that uh it's just a fight where you have to be as aggressive as you can try to block more than you normally would so you can push moon knight to special two instead of special one because a the animation of special two is quicker and b that means you will get more openings because you can only only gonna have to bait less special attacks half of what you would otherwise and that's about it the quest is simple bring in black panther bring in wolverine and you can do just fine in addition this guy also has bleed vulnerability which is gonna make sure that your bleeds do more damage than they normally would and yeah uh, then you will be done with the quest as i mentioned before the only problem here is that caustic temper and it will be annoying <laughs> it will take about thousand hits if you do not have hulk <laughs> i know somebody in my alliance tried um, but yeah that is pretty much it uh, for this video variant 4 is extremely easy kind of like also player friendly there aren't too many champion requirements and for being content with end game rewards it definitely feels on the easier side it's by far the easiest variant to date and if you haven't managed to explore previous variants then variant 4 is the best place to start i would say either way uh that will do for today i hope this video is helpful to you guys and if it is hit that like button hit that sub button and i'm gonna catch you guys soon see ya